Hey, what's going on YouTube? In this video, we're gonna see if we can convert a 10 round magazine to a 30 round, kind of, coming up. Okay, why I say kind of is I'm not gonna be actually showing the conversion in this video because YouTube does not like us to show those kinds of things. In Arizona, 30 round magazines are completely legal as of March, 2023. And contrary to what politicians would like you to think, a 30 round magazine is not high capacity, is a standard capacity magazine. I own this magazine because I was selling a Troy PAR, which is a pump action AR style rifle, which takes AR-15 magazines, but it's pump action instead of semi-automatic. So it's actually legal in all 50 states. So since I was selling that and had the potential of shipping it to a, another state that did not allow 30 round magazines, I grabbed this magazine so that I could include that with the sale. I ended up selling it locally. They didn't want this magazine. So I've had it and haven't been able to sell it. So I wanted to see if I could just grab a spring and throw that in here to make it a 30 round. Now I grabbed this spring off from eBay. So we got $10 for the spring, $10 for the magazine which leaves us at $20 and there, I think that there are better magazines for $20. However, since I had this and I couldn't sell it, I figured I could grab the spring and see if we can change it out. This particular magazine has a rivet in the bottom plate. So we'll have to drill that out uh, in order to get to the internals. If you're watching it on YouTube, I did not show the modification of it. Uh, that's because YouTube gets frowny. But the answer is yes, the spring did allow us to fit 30 rounds in here. I haven't taken this to the range yet because I live in the city, so I don't live that close to a range where I can go and test things very easily. And unfortunately, we live in a time and state where um, the entire system is rigged against us. Politicians can pass unconstitutional laws that don't even make any sense much faster than they can crawl their way through the court system. I believe the way to solve this would be to have every law go in front of a panel of constitutional judges, ones that are not biased on their political affiliation one way or the other, constitutional judges, and determine whether a law is constitutional or not before it ever gets signed or put into effect or anything like that. So that we don't have to spend millions upon millions of dollars to crawl their way through the court system, eventually getting finding their way to the Supreme Court, then found unconstitutional, but then the politicians just come out like New York and California have already done after the Bruin decision. They come out and pass more unconstitutional laws and then those ones have to crawl their way up through the court system. Something's gotta change and I believe that that's the way to do it. Uh, another one, and I rarely agree with our Senator Mark Kelly, but he s briefly suggested, I haven't seen anything come of it, but he suggested one issue, one bill. That also, what that does is means that for each bill, there's just one issue. So they're not burying, gun, a lot of times they're burying gun control in these bills that are 3000 plus pages and no Senator is reading all of those. They're just voting on them without reading them. That keeps those bills small, short, easy to read, and easy to vote on the issue since it's just one issue the pages are a lot shorter and they're not burying all of this other stuff in there but that's the world that we live in 
And I don't think that it can be changed by voting because you're either voting for the lesser evil, which is like, well, it's not, not as bad as the other side, which doesn't fix any of our problems. But anyway, I definitely have issues with these unconstitutional laws. I wish they didn't exist, but I don't know what we can do to change it because we can't vote stupidity out. For this video goes, we are able to modify this magazine and it uh, seems to have worked so far. This is the only hex mag that I own. Um, I own mostly P mags and Lancer mags, but uh, we can give this one a try and see if this will ultimately work, but it does hold 30 rounds. So uh, if you're over here on YouTube, go over to Rumble and you can see the actual modification of this magazine. Uh, you can ch check out some uh, more firearms related content over on Rumble because I can show more over there than YouTube. And I'm a do-it-yourselfer and I've lately been including some more videos on some of the DIY stuff to firearms. So uh, make sure that you give this video a like and share it. Um, subscribe to the channel. Let YouTube know that you want to support more content like this. Until the next project, we will catch you then. See ya.